Hello. Get me all set up here. Who's on? Hey, Joan. Hey, Mary. Rose. Amy. <laughs> How you guys doing? Wonderful Friday night to y'all. We're listening to some Brazilian jazz. You like it? Tell me if it gets to be too... Uh, where all you hear is percussion and it gets irritating. <laughs> Let me know. Hey, Ellen, how are you? Good to see you. Brazilian jazz. <laughs> Setting up here. We are going to have a live show. Let me get this figured out here. How do you like my background? Isn't it pretty? It's paper flowers. Not real paper flowers, it's a background, but it's uh, a photograph of a whole bunch of different little paper flowers. I think it's kind of pretty. And I, and I kind of wore this intentionally to make it kind of pop out together there. So <laughs> hopefully I had a, the desired effect. Let me connect here. Currently running live stream. That's exactly what I wanted. And I am going to turn down the music here. Joan, you have to wait until I give it a number. You might get it, you might not, but everybody gets a fair chance. <laughs> I swear it's between you and Amy all the time. We're like jumping on those backdrops, huh? Of course, what I think it was Mary got the one from the other night, though, right? The suitcase one? Let me turn this guy to voice down a little bit. We'll turn them right to about there. And what else do I got to do? I have to share. And you have to share. Go share, share, share. Because right now, I'm going to be drawing a name in just a few minutes of the person that shared uh, a, a random name of somebody that shared the show on Wednesday night. And you're going to win a prize. Oh, and I also have so many prizes to give away tonight in tonight's show, too. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well. But go share my show right now. What is it saying here? This is not a curtain. This is actually a photography backdrop here. Okay, You can't do that yet. <laughs> you can't do that yet, Joan. I, you don't even know what number I'm starting on. Um, you, <laughs> that's it. You can be sitting there for infinity. Um, this here is just a photography backdrop here. So you see I actually have it um, on top here with little binder clips. Okay, it doesn't have any grommets. It is not washable. It is wipeable. You cannot put this in the washing machine. You can just take a wet cloth to it and wipe it down. So it is like a uh, piece of um, silk screened canvas. Okay, and uh, the photograph is enlarged on here. And it's made for like, you know, if you're doing a um, photo booth or something like that, you're having an event and you need a nice backdrop for it. But the other nice thing about these, let me tell you this, it, I think this is a, is a nice feature to it. If you are in a place that say you're renting a place or say you're just, it, you're not ready to make a permanent, um, you know, on the wall, you don't know exactly what you wanna do. You can get wallpaper paste, put wallpaper paste behind this, get a little squeegee and squeegee this thing on the wall to stay up there for as long as you want and then just peel it off at the corner when you're when you're done with that. It's just vinyl like that. It's, it's that same sort of thing here. Okay, thank you for sharing, Ellen. Thank you. Let me get my shares out here real quick. Thank you for everybody who shared on Wednesday, too. I had a lot of interesting places that you shared it to. Um, I was noticing when I was reviewing it there. As I said, you can share it to your personal page. You can share it to your local buy-sell groups that you have, this live video right here. You can share it to um, any groups maybe that you belong to that allow you to post in their group there. Um, you know, be use your judgment when you're doing that there. But there were some really interesting groups that I saw posted to the other day, which... Um, I think that's fabulous. That's wonderful. And I really do appreciate you sharing the video out because the more watchers I get, the more it brings me back. Because when I come back, <laughs> you don't get enough watchers. I don't want to come back. It's a lot of work. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Hi, Valerie. How are you? Okay, so let me see here what I have to do. I'm going to share it to my page here. Okay, share, share, share. Let's see. Give me just a moment here. 
sit. I always feel like my laptop takes so much longer to process, although it does, it holds so much more um, than my, uh, you know, my tablet and whatnot. It doesn't, the laptop really does have a lot of, a lot of memory that goes with it here. But um, let's see, we'll go right there. And then we'll go this. And we'll go this, and we're going to be ready to go. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do we have um, do we have Pam Enix on or not? Pam Enix was in the hospital this morning. She went in the hospital to have her hip replaced, and she is doing great. I heard from her just a little while ago, and she said she is feeling good. She's doing well. Everything went well today, so that is a, a really wonderful thing, and I'm really... I knew it was going to be good for her, but... Nonetheless, it's very scary when that you under, undergo those sorts of things. Joe, hi Joe, how you doing? Good to see you. Okay, let me share this to my page here. Share, share to my page. And we're gonna pick a winner. Share on my timeline. That's what works, right? Okay, let me just write here. Okay, there we go. I'm all set up. I'm going to get rid of this laptop here, plug it in over here. We're going to get ready to start here. There's Pam Wyatt. Yeah, she said she's going to be in the hospital until um, maybe Sunday or Monday there. So um, hopefully they'll take good care of her and, and get her, you know, booted up to get ready to go home peacefully. Okay, go lie down, please. Oh, you know what? Did you ever see this before? Let me show you this real quick here. Have you ever seen this? I didn't even know about this. I know you can't read backwards here. But did you know that the Girl Scouts do dog treats? <laughs> I didn't know anything about that. Soft and chewy dog treats from the Girl Scouts here. Bacon flavor here. My dog loves them. Loves them. Loves them. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get started here. Let me pull this over here. Joan already has her fingers on the, her trigger finger ready here. You see something you like, you comment. Sold, S-O-L-D. You put the number that I give that item on there, and my bot will pick it up and tell you if it's available, if it's yours, or if somebody else has already grabbed it before you. I need a little dish here to put my... People that shared the show, their names inside of here. And then we're going to choose a winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here we go. La, 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 la. And this is for sharing on Wednesday night show. Okay. Wednesday night is seven. And it's Mary Cleveland that won. Is Mary here? I don't know. I don't think I remember saying hi to Mary yet. Yes, I did. I said hi to Mary way up at the top, didn't I? Yes, I did. I think I said hi to her first, actually. Where is Mary? Hi, Kathy. Where is Mary at? Mary, you're the winner, winner. Can you see me, Mary? Tell me when you're ready, and I'm going to tell you what you can choose from. In the meantime, I'm giving the first item a number. The first item is this backdrop here of this uh, photography picture here of these paper flowers. It would also be really cute inside of a craft room if you had a craft room like that. I think that'd be a really pretty thing to look at there, especially if you don't have a window because it's so bright as it is. And I think it kind of gives the illusion of, you know, the outdoors there, the window. This one here is going to be $8. It is number 901. If you like this, you say sold, 901, sold, 901. And then that will come to your house as long as nobody else bought it before you there, okay? <laughs> Next item, look at my cute hat. Look at my cute fedora here. Super cute. It is adjustable in the inside. All you have to do is pull, there's two little strings here. Do you see these two little strings? And you can adjust it to be able to pull this to make to fit your head a little bit tighter if you like it like that. It's like a faux suede on the outside. And it has a little black leather band. Very simple, but very cute. I thought it was very cute. Kind of looked just, just, I thought it looked really cute just with this dress right here. No? Blue jeans, denim jacket, anything like that. Really cute. It sells for $16.45. 
I have this for $9. It's number 902. 902. It's going to be $9. If you like that, you just say sold 902. Sold 902. And it comes to live at your house. What's going to be 903? You know what 903 is? This is the magnetic wraparound for your Instapot. This is for a six quart Instapot. It is not for Instapot Plus or Deluxe. It's for your regular Instapot. And what it is here, whoops, they call it Steammates. Steammates Magnetic Wrap. So it is a magnet. It is in this pattern and it is cut to make your Instapot prettier. Okay, so if you like that, you are going to say number 903. This sells for $14.98 at Walmart. I have it for $9. $9. It's number 903. Steammates. Magnet to make it pretty. It's like little, um, what do you call those? It's almost like a little violet, like a pink violet or something like that. Little daisies and whatnot. Steammates 903. This is going to be number 904. Oh, and look, I forgot to tell you. If I say a number, I gave these numbers. You see my numbers here? I gave some of them random stars on them here. If you get in one that has a random star on it here, if I assign that to something that you're purchasing, let me know. Say winner, winner, and then you're going to get a surprise package with it as well, okay? Very good. And the other thing that I wanted to say, what was the other thing that I wanted to say? Oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to say. <laughs> If you think that I've been dipping my hands in the chocolate here, <laughs> I started making all my notes tonight with a brown marker that decided to leak all over me. This whole hand was coated in it. I'm over here scrubbing it up, but I see some of the pieces already absorbed in too much. So it's not my new henna tattoo. It's just a uh, leaky brown marker here. 904 and 905 are going to be the exact same item here. These are swim goggles. These are adult size swim goggles. These are really nice swim goggles here too. The brand is called Let's Fit. Oops, it's upside down. Do you see it there? So it's a full face swim goggle. And it has um, the silicone that goes around here. It has, it's supposed to be a super seal gasket. So it says it's anti-fog and anti-water leak, of course. These swim goggles here, they sell for $13.99. I have them for $8. Number 904 and number 905. If you happen to buy 904, it has a blue star. Let me know. That means you're the winner winner. Did Mary ever come on here to tell me that she won and what I'm going to show her what her prize is? Come on quick, Mary. Let me show you what you want to choose. You have to tell me what you want to choose. Next item here is going to be number 906. This item is just $2. This item is silicone shoelaces. Okay, they are black silicone shoelaces. So you put them on your shoes and you just stretch them to open. This is what the backs of them look like. Okay, silicone shoelaces, it's number 906 and it is just $2. If I don't know you and you are here, I want you to come and say hello to me so that I can get to know you. Come say hi to me. Say hi, my name is Valerie. No, don't you say that. I'll say that. My name is Valerie. Mary, you are there. Mary, these are your two choices. This is your two choices. What do you want to win? You either get to win this unicorn party party set here. So it has these little unicorn masks here. It has little wraparound unicorn cupcake uh, sleeves here. And then the little cupcake designs here that go stick out of the top of the cupcake. So it's the unicorn party pack or this lovely little necklace. And I have to... This is why I wanted to call you quickly, because I have to move it slowly. It's a four-tiered. Do you see how pretty that is? It's four-tiered, so it lays like that. I think it's really pretty. It's very delicate. It's a new item, but you know me. As soon as I set it down, I'm going to get it tangled here. So <laughs> tell me which one you like there, and I will set one of those aside for you, whichever one you like. And to get a prize, you've got to share. Not to get any prize you have to share, but to get the share prize, you have to go share the video. So tell me what you like, Mary. This is 90, this is this, 907. This is called a cash envelope wallet. 
This sells for $19.99. I have it for $10. This is a really nice wallet. It's a large wallet. Okay? It's a nice, large, red wallet. Gold zipper up the side here like this. It has a side pocket right here. You open it up, and it has a little binder on the inside here. You've got your little budgeting paper here, if you'd like. You have your um, two spaces, two slots right here in the front for your very frequently used cards. Your less frequently used cards can go in here. Zipper in the center. More credit card space here. And two open pockets for, you know, uh, dollar bills and whatnot. It is a large wallet. It is almost the size of a small clutch, okay? So if you see what I have to my hip right here, like a small clutch, it is a really nice wallet. Like I said, it sells for $19.99. I have it for $10. This is item number 907. 907. Nine zero. You want the necklace? The necklace is really pretty. I thought you'd like that one, huh? <laughs> number 908. Number 908 is actually a dog leash. Okay, this is a really nice dog leash. It's super thick braided. It's a cotton braided dog leash here. And it's a pretty pink color here. Okay? See the nice thick hardware that's on this here? Loops hand. Whoops, where's the loop? I, I re-looped it. There you go, up at the top. Real nice thick dog leash here. This one sells for $12.49. I have it for $8. It's going to be number 908. The brand is called Masaisi? Masaisi. Masaisi. It is going to be number 908 for $8 here. Okay. Next item is going to be number 909. 909. Whew, so many things to show you here tonight. 909 are these egg cups. Okay. It's a nice little set of egg cups. They sell for $15.99. They're going to be $9. It's number 909. Let me show you what they look like. They are all white. They are ceramic. Sweet little egg cups like that. They also come with uh, white ceramic spoons as well for all of them here. So you see there's a total of 12 of them here. So if you serve soft boiled eggs, if you have breakfast like that, or you could even make mini desserts in them too. That would be just as cute. That's a really good price for that leash. Yeah, I know. I know, Valerie. I, everything I have is a really good price. <laughs> you should know that by now. <laughs> It is a good price. So is this. These sell for $15.99. I have them for $9 for the box. This box is number 909. You like this item? Say 909. Sold. 909. Here is 910. What is 910? 910 is greeting cards. These are thank you cards. Let me see if I got anything on here. So these sell for $9.99. I'm going to mark these ones down mark these down to five dollars tonight these are greeting cards how many are you getting in here I don't know how many you're getting I think you're getting like 48 or 36 or something like that they are brown craft paper they all are gonna look the same here so the pretty little painting on the outsides and they all say thank you on the inside they are blank I believe there's 48 and of course they do come with their envelopes as well greeting cards thank you this is going to be $5 tonight, and this is going to be number 910. 910. Maybe you have an event coming up that you need to write quite a few thank you notes to people. Somebody going to be giving you a lot of gifts? That would be nice, huh? <laughs> it's nice to have to buy 48 thank you notes. That means you got 48 gifts somehow, right? <laughs> Um, you put the black and pink, you put a black and pink harness for going out. That's her going out lease. Miniature bathtubs for purple babies. <laughs> Did everybody get purple babies? Did you guys get your purple babies? If you haven't gotten purple babies yet and you want purple babies, let me know and I will send them with your order. I forgot to post that today. I'll post that tomorrow on the page. But, uh, Everybody is, that has purple babies is supposed to take their purple babies and put them as strategically at different places no matter where they go. Kind of like a flat Stanley sort of idea. Photograph your purple baby and we're going to start a mega thread tomorrow of purple babies. 
This here is a set of beach balls. Another set of beach balls. We sold the last set we had here. This one is eight. You're getting eight 12 inch beach balls. Beach balls. You know what a beach ball looks like. I'm not blowing it up on air. <laughs> you're getting eight of them. And I'm going to make this the same price I made the other ones, discounted the other ones to the other day. So this is going to be now discounted down to $4. Set of beach balls. You're getting eight of them. They're 12 inch each. And they are going to be $4. This one is going to be on number 911. They'd also make great party favors. You know, they'd make great invitations to write your invitation on the beach ball, send them in the envelope, and that person blows it up and sees what the heck's going on. Item number 911 is going to be $4. You're getting eight of them in the package. Item number 12, this is a vintage item here. Did I say 12? That was 911. This is 912. This is a little vintage item here. This is a ceramic coffee mug here with the U.S. postage stamp of four cents for the nursing stamp here. So if you have somebody in your life that is a nurse, it's a really nice um, coffee mug here, okay? And this one is going to be, I'm gonna mark this one down tonight. We're gonna do this one at four bucks. If you have a nurse in your life, really nice coffee cup here. $4. It's going to be number 912. This one also has a star. 912 also has a star. So if you get this one, you tell me winner, 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 and uh, you're going to get a prize with that one there. Okay? Let me see. Did anybody tell me winner, winner yet? I don't see anybody tell me winner, winner. Who's going to tell me that? Huh? You haven't gotten any purple babies, Pam, and I just mailed you a package recently. Yes, I do have more citronella stickers, Rose, but I don't have them on tonight's show. But I will set some aside for you. I have both the cutesy ones with the child prints on it, and then I have plain ones, too, that are just like uh, dots. You know, like plain dots. I will set them aside for you. I don't have them on tonight. I have got to send you purple babies, Pam. I've got to send them to you. See, that's the thing. I send boxes at all different times, so I'm not always sure who's getting what there. These are acupuncture inserts for your foot here. You're getting two separate pairs of these here. They also have like little, I don't know, I guess these are like magnetic um, inserted parts here. But these are jelly-like, okay? They sell for $12.99 for the package of two. Excuse me, not acupuncture, acupressure is what they call it. $12.99 for the package of two. I have the package for $6. It's going to be number 913. And it shows you right on here where to cut according to whatever size of foot you happen to have there. Okay? This is going to be number 913. 913. No babies. No babies. Oh, we're going to have to get Pam some babies. Uh-oh, I just made the cry sound. Now my dog's going to go crazy nuttos. Crazy nuttos. No babies. Where's your Girl Scout cookie? Where'd I put those cookies now that I show them to everybody? Sometimes I show you things and I don't even have it for sale, but I'm just like, I'm like, have you ever seen this before? I've never even seen this before. Where did I put those Girl Scout cookies? Where did I put those cookies? I don't know. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Bacon flavor too. Bacon flavor. <laughs> okay, there he goes. This is really cute. Unbelievably so. Well, I guess not unbelievably so, but surprising to me. This sells for $21.58. Pretty pricey. But it is kind of like a, when I say full size, I'm going to say the Spider-Man is like teenager full size, okay? But he's in this kind of crotched position here. So this is a Mylar balloon. It's a party decoration. You blow it up with the straw that's included, and then you put his joints together. So you attach his arms to his torso, his legs to his torso, and whatnot. Um, I don't know if his head's separate. I think his head is separate, too. It's on a separate little valve. They're on little valves. It's a really nice item here. Surprisingly, it is $21.58. I have it for $10. If you're throwing a Spider-Man birthday party or you just want to freak out your neighbors and put it on the side of your house, you can do that, too. It's number 914. This one is $10, 914. I was going to say, so the other night I had... <laughs> Okay, you know, when it, like I said, if the music starts getting wonky, let me know. Because sometimes they could just do percussion or something, and it comes across that way, and I'm not hearing it. 
so clearly here. But I had to laugh about when the music, when I was listening to the music the other night, and apparently you were trying to tell me, and I wasn't seeing your comments on there. And, um, oh, no, that wasn't it. It was when you were trying to tell me that Amy was a winner for something that she bought and she needed a prize package there. And apparently so many people shouted at me. And then finally Joan's like, when I finally acknowledged it, she's like, hey, met already. <laughs> reading these comments and I just started busting. I'm sitting home alone reading these on my sofa and I just started busting out laughing. I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, they're probably thinking, come on, lady. Come on. Where are you? <laughs> Look at these. These are cool. I don't know what you're going to use these for. I'll tell you what you could use these for. I have something similar to this on my refrigerator, actually. They are magnetic. This is a case. You're getting a case of 24 of these. They are four ounces each. They are these little metal um, containers. Just these little metal screwy containers like that here. Okay? So you get a case of these. There are 24 in the case. They are four ounces each. They sell for $20.99. I have the case for $16. This is not exactly the same, but I think I might have showed you these before. I have these on my refrigerator here, which are kind of similar to that here. These are the ones that they have. This is a little bit larger, I guess. And we have, they're magnetic here. I mean, I just keep little gadgets in them or whatnot. But they would also, these what I think would be nice. Well, if you wanted to, if you were like a special, I used to have a friend that made these. Well, not that I don't have her anymore. I just don't see her anymore. <laughs> She's not a social media person, and she's in another state. But um, she used to make these fantastic cookies that were like the size of hockey pucks. Like one cookie was like lunch. It was they were delicious. And this would be perfect container for something like that. A little gift. You put this like this. Put a little sticker on the front. Little bows, or to decorate these somehow. I don't know. Magnets. Put spices in them. Whatever you like. It's sixteen dollars for the case of twenty four. They are four ounces each. They sell for twenty ninety nine online. It's going to be number 915. If you like this item, you're going to write down sold 915. Sold 915. This is the sweet little item too. This is a terracotta. It is clay here. Okay. This is where you're going to put your little hanger right through the back here. This is just a little plastic barb right now, but you're going to put your hanger through there. Look at that. It's the sun and the moon. It's the sun over here, and then the whole crescent moon coming along right along here. It's about the size of my face here. I'm going to say that's probably about an eight inch, eight inches across. You could hang it outside. You could hang it inside, whatever you happen to like there. This one is going to be $5. It's going to be number 916. Number $5, number 916. If you like that, say sold, 916 sold 916 and then the other thing I wanted to say I had to laugh about was um that when I and today we're going to do at the end of this show we're going to do a three dollar sale so I have a whole bunch of things to go for three bucks at the end of this show but I had to laugh because the other day I think it was Monday when we were doing a dollar sale on Monday and then Joan ended up buying I'm going to spill I'm going to to sell you out here, Joan. Joan ended up buying the sign that broke her turtle. <laughs> and the funniest thing about it is when I was taking them and packing up the show, you know, the sign was a big wood sign and it had this snowman on it. And the, and the saying on it was, don't worry, I'll come back again someday. <laughs> and I just had to laugh about that because don't worry, Joan, he's here to haunt you now. <laughs> I didn't take that. When Frost, now that we know that he's already a turtle killer, this item here, you're getting two of these in this pouch here. When I show you these, I know you're not going to be able to read them because of the mirror effect here, but I'm going to tell you a little something here. I don't want you saying to me, Valerie, that's misspelled <laughs> because it's not misspelled. Okay, so these are two carpets here. These are for your kitchen. These are kitchen carpets here, and they are long. Do you see how long they are here? I think they are 47 inches long here. So we start here. We have all these little appliances, and then we go over here, and you see at the bottom here, and instead of saying bon appetit, it says bon appetit. 
and it's spelled a little bit differently. And you think, oh, is it misspelled? But it is not misspelled. We're very used to seeing the French version. This is the Italian Portuguese, okay? So if you are Italian or Portuguese or you like that in your kitchen, maybe you like to cook Italian, maybe you like to cook Portuguese, this is the correct spelling in that language for good food, tasty food. Let's eat. These carpets are nice. They are have a, um, you see the background of them here? So they're not going to slip and slide on your kitchen floor. They have like a fancier whip stitching around the side here. So it's a nice under your foot, long carpets here. You're getting two of them in the pouch. The pouch is like a little, um, just a little fancy little bag that it comes in. These sell for $23.99 for the both of them here. I have them for $14. This is going to be number 917. Number 917. And you get both of those. This is the brand name of it here. Car Carvapit? 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 917. It's going to be $14 for the two for the two here. Okay? Portuguese Italian, Portuguese Italian. Next item over here. Let's see what I got over here. Oh, don't break. Don't break people. Okay, this is just a little set of bags. This is just four little bags. They're going to be $2. This is number 918. They're a little um they're like little crocheted bag, not crocheted necessarily. Because it's, it's just their little fabric bags, let's put it that way. Okay, you can kind of see through them here. They have a little wood bead on them. They're all about that size right here. Maybe, uh, you know, decorate them up pretty there. Or, you know, put a fancy bar of soap or something like that inside of them here. One, two, three, four. They're going to be $2. They're number 918. 918 for the little bags. Cute little thing there. Okay, going outside. Don't bark. No barking. No barking. Okay, number 919. Oh, where you at? So this is a holiday item here. This is a vintage holiday item. Pam Wyatt. What did we date those Batman cups at? Was that 1989 or something like that? You wish they were what? No, Val. Those metal containers have magnets on them. They do not have magnets on them, no. Those ones are just plain. Um, yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> That's what I got for you today. I think Pam Wyatt, we dated those, um, Batman cups to like 1989 or something, or 1990, 1998, wasn't it? Batman Begins or something like that. I'm kind of guessing these must be from around the same year because they're, they're sort of similar to that. These are McDonald cups, glasses, Okay. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's a tr that's a Christmas tree on the front of it here, or a winter tree of some sort here. It's a snowy winter uh, evergreen. Yeah, I think it's a Christmas tree. I see a star on it, and I think I see some lights on it as well. And so it's a set of two of these that we have here. They are vintage glasses. They're cute for the holidays here. It's going to be number 919, and you're going to get both of them for $5. 919. So I'm guessing that these are probably the same age as the um, Batman ones, just because it's a very similar sort of style there. This next one, too, this is a consigned item here. I don't have a date for a year or anything on it, but he's darn cute. It's a little kitten here with a bowl in his hand. It's a little crystal kitten. There you go. See a little crystal? Oh, you can see the flowers shine through them. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? It's like a kaleidoscopy. Woo! Anyway, cute little crystal kitten here. I might be that might be distracting to actually see the kitten. And uh, it's like a little paperweight, little object, a little object of art that sits on the shelf here. It's going to be four dollars. It's going to be number nine twenty. He's about that big. Nine twenty. 920. <laughs> it looks like he has those sparkles through him, but he doesn't. That's just the uh, the clear the clearness of the glass there. That's number 920, little kitten there. What is this? Okay, so this is a set of two. Um, these are, you're getting two of these pouches. They're identical. Okay, they have a key ring on them here. And these are the pouches that are made to protect, um, these are actually key fob size, they're bigger than key fobs actually, you see. 
but they say you can put your key fobs and credit cards in here. These prevent, you know, somebody that has a, you know, a nefarious person that has a little machine that can pick up numbers and, you know, or pick up the, um, uh, what your settings are, that type of thing. So they're, what do they call these actually? Let me just read what they actually call them. They call them uh, key fob uh, signal blocking, signal blocking anti-hacking. Okay, you get a two pack of them. They sell for $9.95 for the two pack. It's going to be $5 for both of them here. This is going to be item number 921. Hey girl, hey Robin. Uh, how you doing? Um, good to see you. I hope you're not hiding out. You're at work or are you at home? <laughs> What's the number on the containers? The number on the containers is number 915. Seriously, you need a couple magnets. I'll send you a couple magnets to go with it because I actually have a whole sheet of magnets just stuck on the refrigerator, a whole big fat sheet, but they're erratically stuck. But <laughs> it's for when I decide to do something with magnets. Okay, this is, um, this is not a new item. This is a consigned item, but this is in excellent condition. The only reason I even mention that it is, well, actually I can peel that right off, but you can see it has been hung before because it has a little bit of the fuzzy, foamy things left on the back. It says booze, better than therapy. Booze, better than therapy. It is a metal tin sign here, okay? And it's a large one too. It's a big one. Last night, was it last Wednesday? Last Wednesday, I think I had the laundry size signs on. The laundry tin signs, they were half of the size of this. So this is a real big one here. Booze, better than therapy, tin sign. This one here, I'm gonna mark this one down. We're gonna mark this one down to six bucks tonight. It's gonna be item number 922. 922, excellent condition. Made to look old, made to look old and vintage. 922 is gonna be six dollars. What do I have over here? What do I have? What do I have? <laughs> oh, I know you don't really go to the bathroom. Well, I said this to Robin. She says, I, I have to work. I can't watch. And I said, Robin, go sneak out and say you have to go take a bathroom break <laughs> and go watch from the from the bathroom. So then when she came on, she's like, I'm watching from the bathroom. I know you're not really watching from the bathroom, but I'm glad you're watching. Thank you. <laughs> now go share. Go share the show. Um, don't go. Just share. <laughs> this is a consigned item. Okay, so the brand of this is called Formalities, and I've shown you some other things that we've had from Formalities before. This is Formalities by Balm Brothers, okay? So it's a collectible company here, and this is a vintage piece here. It's a very, very pretty piece. It almost looks like a Lennox piece, doesn't it? Now, I will say this, though. Somebody has melted. There's some wax you'd have to get out in the bottom because I think somebody has used this as a candle holder. Maybe it is intentionally a candle holder. I don't know what it is intentionally. I look at something like this, and I think, do I even have a ball here? That one's too small. Oops, that one too small? That one's not quite too small. But I think of things like, I like glass. Like, and here's a pretty, oh, look how pretty the glass ball looks. <laughs> I kind of look at some things like these sometimes and I look at it like a stand, you know, but uh, maybe it is actually a candle holder, but there is candle wax in the bottom because it is a consigned item here. It's going to be $6. It's a very, very pretty item. You will not be sorry with it. It's number 923 Formalities by Balm Brothers. This is called the Ivory and Pearl Collection. Okay. This is how big it is. Got it. So I think the other formalities, I think we've had formalities teapots in here. And what else have we had? I think I had, I want to say I've had a couple bells from formalities. Um, it's just a brand, a, a brand of yesteryear, I suppose. Next item here, we have two trinket boxes. You're getting both trinket boxes here. They are brass. They are heavy. Let's see. They are heart-shaped. I already told you they're brass. They are from India. You're getting one that's this size here, and you're getting one that's this size here. They actually, this one can fit inside of the other one, although I don't know that they, I just had them that way. I don't know that they actually came that way. Actually, I don't know if they did or not, because 
Oh, well, maybe not. I was going to say one has to seems to be have a higher shape to it, but no, nah, maybe not. So anyways, we're getting both of these here. They're nice. They have a real nice weight to them here, too. Trinket box. And here's the other trinket box. These are going to be number 924. You're going to get both of them for $5. 924, both of them for $5. And 924 has a blue star. So if you do happen to get this one, please let me know. Say winner, winner. If you say winner, winner, then I can make sure. Um, thank you. Thank you. It's actually, I don't think it is actually a vintage dress. But I'll tell you what, I just wanted to wear it because when I, once I put this up, and to be honest, I didn't have any clue what this was when I was saying, I said to my son this morning, I said, we have to get that last backdrop down and put up the next backdrop. And I just grabbed one. I didn't even pay any attention to what it is. And when I was opening it up, I was like, oh, look at this. And then I thought, I know what I'm going to wear. I know what I'm going to wear to go with that. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Okay, next we're going to do number 925. 925. What do we got going on here? Which one's going to be 925? Let's do let's do this one at 925. This is a new item, okay? And let me think about what I want to say about this. I want to call this um you might have to help me with this because I can't remember what I want to say about this. It is a piece of jewelry. It comes in this little blue velvet bag like this, and it's a bracelet. And it's not a Pandora that it reminds me of. It is a, what is the other brand of bracelets that people like a lot? Uh, well, I'm going to show it to you. Maybe, it, maybe you'll get some ideas of what you think it might. Can you see that? Isn't it pretty? It has a nice weight to it, too. So this is a, uh, it's a silver bracelet. Here it has the uh, silver chain here that all of these little charms slide on. It's not Pandora, right? It's, there's a different one. I can't remember what it's called. Somebody tell me. I think, who knows? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Anyways, this is a very pretty bracelet. You see how, what it looks like? It's gorgeous. You're going to love it. It sells for $8.99 though. It's a great price anyway for a little bracelet at $8.99. I have it for $5.00 going to be number 925. 925. It would make a beautiful little gift. 925. 925. Next item here is going to be item number 926. I had these a while ago and now I have, this is a package of six. This is, they're going to be two bucks. It's 926. These are the little hairpins here that are the little butterflies. <laughs> you can see all the marker on my fingers here. You see how pretty they are? You see the how they glisten here? The little They're like little rhinestone butterflies. So you're getting a set of six. This looks a little purple on screen, but they're actually pink, okay? I know it's, if I put it closer to my pink hair, why it look more pink? I don't know, it looks a little purple on screen, but it is actually pink there. So you're getting a set of six of them, it's number 926, and they're $2, $2 for this set of six. Really nice if you're doing like an updo and you wanna have some pretty little um, pins that hold up those little hairs that like to fall down. Okay, what's this? This is a set of pillow shams, you got two of them here. These are kind of ombre in the way that they, you see how they go from kind of lighter to darker? It's kind of a, a pretty little print here, isn't it? It looks like wallpaper almost, doesn't it? But it's almost the oceany colors like this too. So I think that's real pretty. I mean, you could use it for a beachy sort of theme there, or you could just use it for like more of a formal dining room area there. These kind of have a velvety sort of texture to it. They are zipper. They are 18 inches by 18 inches. You're getting two of these here. They are going to be number 927, and they're going to be $5. Winner, winner, Valerie. Valerie, you bought something that you got the winner, winner for? Camilla or something like that. Camille, did, did Camille win something? Why are you saying Camille, Ellen? Valerie is the winner, winner. Okay? That would be pretty for those yard sculptures. What would be? And then she said, take lots of bathroom breaks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know what? I think that, I think those jars are kind of cool. I'll tell you what they actually remind me of when I opened them. 
My grandmother used to work for a company. She used to work for Bell Telephone for many, many years. And then when she retired, she went to a couple smaller companies and whatnot. And one of her jobs at one point was to put um, uh, microfish to make film to transfer film and she would always bring home these little metal containers and they were actually a little bit bigger at the time but you know I would make them into very elaborate um, gift boxes you know with uh, you know jewelry and florals on the top lids and whatnot and pretty bows on them you know and that sort of thing back in the day and I think I was a teenager back in the day at that time but um, 927 is going to be five dollars here for that and who do we say one right here we said Val everyone Valerie, one. Let's see. Let's see. What are we gonna pick you up here, Valerie? We've got this package here for you. Valerie, you're gonna win this package here, okay? We're gonna put your name on it here. Thank you, dear. Valerie, winner, 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 chicken dinner. Okay. This next item here. This is a um. This is a, this would make a really cute gift. This is actually a, a do-it-yourself powder to clay energizing coffee face mask. Okay, it's a coffee face mask here, but look at it. It comes with a little wooden spoon and a little coffee cup here. So it looks like if you have somebody that you know that really loves to go get their, you know, visit Starbucks and it was like a regular there or something like that, I think this would be a really cute stocking stuffer for it. It says yes to coconut on the side, yes to coffee on this side. That says coconut. Yep, yes to coconut and yes to coffee. Yes to coconut, new yes to coconut, ultra hydrating for dry skin, energizing coffee, do-it-yourself powder to clay, face mask here, okay? I had this for five, we're taking it down to four tonight, four dollars for this, really cute little stocking stuffer. It's gonna be item number 928, 928 for this. Number 928, it's gonna be four dollars, okay? What do I have over here? Okay, so this is really cool here too. <laughs> no, you're not gonna get me to do that. <laughs> yes, yes, Camille knows a lot about that sort of thing, absolutely. Where is she? See, I already talked to her earlier today too. She's not on here. So if you are planning on remodeling or, um, you know, you just like to play around with ideas and design, this is a three pack. It's from a brand called Nick Pro. This is architectural scale rulers. So what you get here is you get the house plan template, furniture template, and a kitchen template. So you get three of these stencils here that when you're going to like, say you get out your graph paper and you want to lay out, hey, I want this, my kitchen cabinets like this, you know, you had your bathtub, here's a ceiling fan here, I see, you know, your kitchen table, all the different elements of planning out your, um, your home or your kitchen or, you know, whatever you're remodeling here. So this sells for $6.99. It's going to be $4.00. It's number 929, 929. I think this would also be a really, I mean, maybe you know somebody that's studying architecture, you know? 929 is going to be $4. Or just playing around. I know I used to love doing that. Even garden design, when you're sitting there and you play around, you're like, oh, I think I want my garden like this, or I like it like that. Okay, what's over here? This is going to be item number 930. 9.30, not 9.30, it's 7.48 where I am. <laughs> but it's going to be number 9.30. And this is, oh, this is a um, little dog. This is for a tiny dog. If you have a tiny dog, it's a little silicone mat. You see how it's a silicone mat? It catches any of your kibbles or any of your water so that it doesn't get on your floor. And you get two little stainless steel um, dishes here. One for your water, one for your kibble or whatever kind of food you use here. I think these dishes are, they're maybe like four ounce dishes, six ounce dishes, something like that. Real cute little thing. And plus it will stay on your floor and it won't slide back and forth or anything like that. So it's called Viva Glory. Viva Glory. <laughs> We're listening to uh, Brazilian music here. Viva Glory. Um, pets like it. Not really. That doesn't really go together, does it? <laughs> Viva Glory, pets like it. Okay, so what's it sell for here? 
Where's the price on it here? Okay, so this sells for $14.99. This is going to be $8. $8. And this one is going to be number 930. So think your small pets. Think your chihuahuas. Um, you know, any of your little teacup breeds. That sort of thing. It's a small one here. So it's going to be, what did I just say? $8. And it's number 930. Number 930. What do you say in there? Where's Julie? Hey, Julie, there you are. Uh, she better put it down before he says, I won't eat that anyways. I already told you I don't, I don't do coffee. I don't do coffee. It's not my, it's not my gig. <laughs> you won't even tempt me with that. What is this? Oh, this is the, this is a face mask, but this is a really, really nice face mask. Unisex. Men would like this just as much as women would like this. Total blackout shades. This is like a neoprene, okay? So it's like a, um, you know, what you would use if you go diving or um, that sort of fabric, okay? But look at the pillow cushions that go around the eyes here. They're super um, fitting here on your eyes. Super squishy too. Elastic headband, whatnot. Be good for both men or women. Also be a nice stocking stuffer there. This one sells for $15.47 on Amazon. I'm marking this one down to $6. This is a really nice face mask, sleeping mask here. So especially and if you need somebody that needs to take a nap in the daytime and they can't stand the light. I can't stand the light. <laughs> it's $9.31. And I've just marked it down to $6. That's a good one there. Okay, what is this over here? Hmm. Oh, this is also a little holiday item here. This also, now I don't know if this, this isn't necessarily vintage because these were produced up until the year 2007. This was produced between 2001 and 2007. And what this is, this is a Mikasa, Mikasa brand, okay, if you're familiar with that. And this is a set of plates. These are hors d'oeuvre plates, okay? They have never been used though. And you see this is a P, okay? But they look like Lennox also, don't they? They're with the ivy and then the gold along the side. So you are getting five of these plates. And when these plates spell out here is the word peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, peace. So it's meant to be a um, holiday edition here. They've been packaged ever since they've been purchased. Apparently, nobody has ever used them. They are hors d'oeuvre plates. I'm going to show you the size of one. Here's a C, okay, so you get an idea of what the size of this is here. These are going to be, let me get them back in here. Nice little set, and they are Mikasa brand, too, so, so that you know. Where is the price of them here? Okay, so there you get the whole set, P-E-A-C-E, -E, five letters here of hors d'oeuvre plates. Um, they so are going to be $12 for the set of five. This is going to be item number 932, and 932 also has a little blue star on it, which means if you get that, let me know, and you are going to get an extra little present package. We're going to get a little bonus package, okay? Who's Colleen? Hi, Colleen. Colleen McGuire. Hi, you're new. What do I sell? I sell a little bit of everything. I sell vintage items. I sell consigned items. And I sell new items as well. So make sure you follow the page. I'm live three days a week. I'm live Mondays at 11 a.m. Are you local, Colleen, or where are you, where are you coming from? Tell me where you live at. Go lay down. Uh, Mondays at my 11 a.m. I'm in South Carolina and um, Wednesdays and Friday evenings at 7 p.m. So tell me where you're from Colleen. This right here is um, I've showed you these before okay. These are the poster frames you know what I'm talking about you're getting this actually breaks up into four pieces here and they are magnetic so you put a magnetic on the top and then it has the the string to hang it on the top and then the bottom. This one is a little bit smaller than the ones that I've had for you before. This one is in its natural color here. I'm going to say this is about, um, I'm going to say it's about 12 inches, 12 or 14 inches here. I'm going to say 12 to be on the safe side. I'll say 12 might be 14, but I'm going to say it's 12. Does it say it right here? I don't think it does. It sells for $11.99. It's going to be $8, $8 for the postage, Blech. poster, magnetic poster hangers here. That's number 
This item here, oh good, you're from South Carolina too? Well, there you go. So I'm 11 a.m. on Mondays and then 7 p.m. on Wednesdays and Fridays. That's wonderful. If you like something, you just have to send me just a direct message, but it has your um, telephone number, your email address, and your mailing address, unless you're close enough that you pick up uh, from me. I'm in the upstate here, all right, outside Simpsonville, okay? Um, otherwise, um, I'll mail. And uh, what else do I have to tell you? Just comment with whatever you like with the number next to it there. We're everybody welcome in Colleen. <laughs> now this is an older item here too. This is a consigned item. This is a very nice piece here. The brand on this is Party Light, okay? This is a candle holder. You put your candle on top of it here. Nice size here. You can see how it's taking up my hand here. So you're gonna put a real nice thick candle on the top. This is ceramic here. This is metal here on the top and the bottom, okay? Velvet on the bottom down here. I don't doubt that this piece probably sold for 24, 25 bucks, you know, something like that. Maybe even more. I, I don't know. I was never, never a uh, home party person there. But really nice piece here, and it's going to be $5. This one is going to be item number 934. If you'd like to do a fireplace filled with candles, at the holidays or even just an, any winter night there and you like different kinds of looks you know different shapes and heights and whatnot this would be perfect for that I want to say this probably weighs a pound okay it's a nice piece here it's gonna be five dollars it's gonna be number 934 number 934 okay you good next we have this and I have to say this is so funny because so some you know when you get down into the city where everything's well planned, better better planned. You know, they have your bike lanes and whatnot. But just the other day, I was out riding about and, uh, you know, I'm on a regular road and there's no bike lane or anything like this, but yet there was a husband and a wife both on their bicycles. And I'm thinking, my car was isn't very loud. <laughs> and I didn't know if they could recognize that I was actually behind them or not. This is a rear view mirror for your bicycle here okay so the handle will bend it has kind of like a gooseneck handle here it looks foggy because you have to peel it off so that the mirror is shiny underneath here and then it just snaps on your handlebar here so the interesting thing was was I looked and I saw that the wife did have a rear view mirror on hers and she was using hers to navigate where I was but the husband did not now I put on my blinkers and I was able to get in the other road lane to go around them safely but uh, nonetheless it's a good idea to have a rear view mirror on your bicycle if you are a bicyclist this one here is going to be five dollars it is going to be number 935 it's about that tall and as I said this is a um, gooseneck uh, sort of thing here so you can adjust the, how you need it and the mirror is a non-breakable mirror but again it's it is a very shiny mirror it just has this protection on the outside number 935 is going to be five dollars here okay next we have oh look at this one okay so we have this baseball here I'm marking this baseball down this baseball is going to be four dollars tonight this is kind of a cool baseball if you have somebody in your life that likes their baseball, likes their baseball stadiums, is just a baseball aholic, baseball junkie. Now you'll have to tell me where this one is located. Let's see what it says here. Oh, I can't read that. Where'd my magnifying glass go? Probably buried it under all this here. Probably did. So this is Camden Yards. Where's Camden Yards located? What city is Camden Yards in here? Okay. So it's showing you their stadium there, Candom Yards. Nice little baseball, a little collective um, commemorative thing here. I think it has a date on it here as well. Um, mm, 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 can't read it that clearly. Okay, so this one is going to be number 936, and it's going to be $4. Tell me where Camden Yards is located. What city that's in. I'm not much on baseball. 936. It's going to be $4. 936. What do I got over here? What's next? What's next, she says? Oh, the next thing here. Okay, so we have these. I have another set of these. I had a different set of these recently. This set here, 
These are the stainless steel. They are hangers, okay? You see how it hangs on your hook right here? But you can hang it like this first, and you can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hangers on here. Say you're hanging up 12 blouses there, you hang it up like that, drop it down so that your blouses all hang downward here and take up less closet space because it's only taking up one closet hook up here at the top here. So you are getting a total of eight of these, eight of these in the bag here. This is how long they are. They hold 12. Did I say 12? I think I just said 12 items. You are getting a set of eight of these. They sell for $13.49. Is it eight? I think it's eight. And you are getting them. We're just making them eight dollars. So you're just paying a buck each on them. Eight dollars. It's gonna be number 937. Sells for $13.49. You're gonna pay eight dollars. 937. 937. This next item here is if you happen to be a vegan person, what is he saying here? Baltimore, Maryland, the Orioles play there. Ah, okay. Are you a baseball fan, Pam, or did you just, there you go, and there's Kathy. There's my Google, I'm gonna call you guys the Google girls. <laughs> when I have a question, you guys got the answer. <laughs> Kathy is saying what? Oreo Park at Camden Yards, often referred to as just Oreo Park or Camden Yards, is a major league baseball MLB ballpark located in Baltimore, Maryland. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I don't know if anybody is vegan or vegan friendly. Maybe you're into this sort of thing. This is a brand called Green Greens Organics Superfoods Wild Berry Dietary Supplement. It says 100% soy, dairy, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan. It feels like it's a powder. I'm not familiar with this. Apparently, you make little berry fruit, fruit shakes and whatnot. Organic superfood is an essential blend of raw green foods, super fruits, sea vegetables, probiotics, acacia, with certified total... ORAC factor. I don't know what that means. Equivalent to five servings of fruits and vegetables. Oh, maybe I should use that. <laughs> nice big jar here. It says 8.46 ounces of it here. This sells for $23.95. It's going to be $15. $15. This one is going to be number 938. And you have until 2022 to use it. It's going to be $15. This next, these next ones, now I don't know if these are necessarily vintage, okay, or if, um, or what the age on these are, but these are nice. These you could use as, I don't know what you could use them as. You could use them as a candle holder, okay, if you wanted to do it as that. They are just these two little glass dishes, but they have a, the nice little pebble on the outside, but look how thick they are. Can you see how thick these are? These are like... I want to say this is about, this has to be a quarter inch thick right here. This has to have a quarter inch thick wall here. These are nice little glass jars. Nice little weight to them too. So you're going to, they would, they probably make really pretty little pudding cups there too or whatever. Um, you're getting the set of two of them there. If they're going to be $5 for the set of two, this is going to be number 939. Number 939 and you're going to get two of them. This is how tall they are. Okay. Pretend I'm eating it. Okay, there we go for that. We're at 8 o'clock right now. We have a few more numbers that we're going to do here. And then we're going to get on to our $3 sale. I hope you're going to like my $3 sale tonight. Got a lot of fun things on that. Let me show you this. This is a sunburst lamp. I want to say this is resin, okay? Kind of looks like wood on the back, but I think it's really resin. It has a hang right here on it. And here's your mirror in the center with this pretty sculpted sunburst on the outside here. You know, see how it's high? And it kind of has a worn um, look on it as well, too. You see how it has they've worn off the edges of it here? So it could fit in a natural, if you like it natural like that, you could paint it if you like it painted here. But they kind of have it where it's worn and aged looking here. And that's is, and it does look like wood. It, I don't know if you can really see that, but it does look like aged wood, okay? So this item here, I'm going to say this one is probably, let me guess here. I'm going to say it's about 15 inches round, okay? That's about how big it is right here, about 15 inches round. And this one here, I'm marking this one down to $6 tonight, okay? 
It's going to be $6, and this is going to be item number $9.40. $9.40, Okay? Very nice. It is really nice, actually, here. $9.40 is going to be $6. $6. This, okay, let me show you this one here. I like this one. I don't want to forget to show this. So, when I got this and I opened this up and I was thinking, oh, aren't these adorable? Because look at them. They are these real thick felt, okay? They're all kind of black. Not like super black, but like dark gray black, I say. But what they are, you open them up, and they're so big and round, and then they have these two little um, handles on the side. And I'm thinking, oh, that's cute. Little makeshift laundry baskets here. You can fold them flat, you know. Or you can just walk around the house, especially if you have toddlers or whatnot, and just start collecting what's laying around, you know, carrying it quickly to the bedroom. And then I started thinking, but wouldn't that be cute if you got some felt and your glue gun out and you made them all cute and different from one another because there's a big package of them here. Then I decided to read what they were. Do you know what they are? <laughs> I'd still use them as my ideas first. <laughs> lamp, lamp on the wall. <laughs> what does that mean, lamp, lamp on the wall? Looks like a mirror, not a lamp. Did I call it a lamp? <laughs> I have a lamp in front of me. Maybe I was looking at that and I was mistaken there. What are you talking about, or husband? What are you talking about? Anyways, let me tell you what these actually are. These are actually, did I write this on the label here, Tim? These are actually, um, I can't read what it says. <laughs> I don't have need my, memory, my, my measuring glass. 10 inches high, and I think it says it's 18 inches wide. Okay? These you fill with soil, and you plant in them. So you can plant your tomatoes in here. You can plant your trees in here. You can plant whatever the heck you want to plant in here. And then if you want to, like say you planted a tree in here as a starter tree, and then you can plant this right into the ground. But this allows for the oxygen to still be able to get to the roots and, and all of that sort of thing. And what a clever thing. And especially if you have plants that you need to move. Like, hey, you know, that those tomatoes are getting too much sun over there. Let's pick these up and move them. Now, these are large. Okay? These are pretty large. You see how big these are? So... My personal suggestion is, is that if you are going to use these for something like plants and soil and whatnot, I would put the bottom here filled with some sort of filler like cardboard or boxes or something like that and then put the soil on top. Otherwise, it's going to be very heavy, although it does seem to support a lot of weight and these are nice sewn in handles here. But to be honest, I would use them to go around the house and collect things and, you know, do whatever you like with them. But this is the deal. They come 10. You get a package full of 10 of these. And they sell, and they sell for $33.47. You get a package of 10. And I have them for 22 bucks. So you're getting a package of 10. So that's like what? That's like uh, two and a quarter per bag, basically. And I would make them onto shelf bags first in your laundry bags or something like that. But you can use them for whatever you like. They're actually intended to be soil planting bags. 22 bucks for this one here. Where's the number that we're going to give it? We're going to give it number 941. Guess what? 941 also has a little blue star. So if you do get this, let me know you're the winner winner. And I'm going to give you an extra little bonus there to go along with that. And I'm going to tell you something else. If you don't get it, I'm fine with keeping them. <laughs> I am fine with keeping them. <laughs> this right here is a sweet little, um, little tiara inspired, I suppose, headband here. Okay, a little rhinestone headband. You could wear it like that, you know, through your hair like that. Or you could wear it like that through your hair. I keep getting it on my hair there. This one is going to be $3.00. Very pretty. This is actually has little rhinestones. I don't know if you can see that clearly there through there. This one's going to be $3. It's going to be number 942. Number 942 is $3. Put that there. This here is our little baby. Our little baby Buddha. Our little baby Buddha. He's getting marked down to $5 tonight. 
He's a cutie pie too, look at him. Just a cutie pie little figurine here. Little baby Buddha, nice and shiny. I think he is a uh, clay or a porcelain, maybe, maybe he's a resin, I'm not sure. Cutest little face though, huh? This one's gonna be down to $5 tonight and he is gonna be number 943. 943, look how tiny he is. Just an itty bitty little thing. That's gonna be number 943. Over here, you are getting in this package, so get this. So say you're doing one of these little white glove inspections, you know, of the room here. <laughs> That's exactly what these type of gloves are. These are white cotton gloves, okay? So you can launder them. They have a nice stretch to them here too. Let's see, there you go. White cotton gloves here. Give it the uh, white glove test here. You are getting six pairs of white cotton gloves. They are $5 for the package. Six pairs, white cotton gloves, $5 for the package. That one's gonna be number 944, number 944. They would also be good gloves to put um, hand lotion on, hand cream on, like a thick hand cream, and go to sleep with these on at night because they are cotton. You're not going to be sweating, you know, it'll, and it'll keep the, the hand cream on where it's supposed to be and not, not on the sheets. So that's actually a really good idea for those now that I think about it. That's going to be $5. You're getting six pairs inside of the bag, and that's number 944. Look what I got. I got another Uber sign. Do you know somebody that drives for Uber? What are you guys saying over here? Joan. Oh. <laughs> Pam knew it. <laughs> that hurt a ton. Oh, too many purple babies. Why am I going to hate you? I'm going to have to reread why I'm going to hate you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I No. No, Joan. <laughs> I'm glad that that's the illusion that you're getting there, but no, Joan. <laughs> um, yes, exactly. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> we never see you throw me any snacks. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, I just said to him right before this, I said, if you're eating, you eat now, and then you get out of the room. <laughs> and then I said, eat those potatoes I make. No, I don't want those. I don't want that. I don't want that. I said, okay, you just thaw some food here, and I'll make you food after this is all done here. <laughs> But you know what? Isn't that annoying, though, when you do watch a video and you have, like, a, somebody, little kids in the background screaming, screaming? Wouldn't you rather hear me just sitting here going, rah, rah? <laughs> what the heck? Or Sparrow. That's the other thing. I forgot to bring Sparrow on the, on the screen the other night as I was saying goodbye, and I saw him up here in the daytime. Oh, now he's gone. He's gone, too. Okay. Do you know something that drives for Uber? This is one of those little uh, LED lights. You put it in your window here. You plug it into your lighter, and it, you know, lights up, and it says Uber on there, so they can see it at nighttime here. It has little suction cups that makes it uh, stick onto your window if you want to put it up there. It sells for $12.99. I have it for $5. It's going to be number 945. Number 945 is going to be $5. What do I have here? This is a very pretty, this is even bigger than the ones I had last night or Wednesday night. This is um, a Lazy Susan and this is the prettiest, this is like an old school pink color as far as I'm concerned. This looks like a 1950s pink, don't you think? I think it does. Anyways, it's a Lazy Susan and it can hold, what can it hold? It can hold all your spices in it. You can put it in your refrigerator. It can hold your ketchup and your relish and whatever else you like and just spin it around and get what you need out of it. It can hold all your cosmetics in it. It can hold all your baby products in it. It's a pale, pale pink color. Lazy Susan, real nice size here. I'm gonna say this one is, prob this one is probably uh, 12, 14 inches. Okay, and then it's going to be another about three inches high over here. This one sells for $9.95. I have it for $6. It's going to be number $9.46. $9.46 at $6. Really a nice one here. Okay, let's see what else I have. Only a couple. Don't want to go too much longer on these regular things, but this is really cute. <laughs> Gotta read some more here. What are you saying? I could, but I won't. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Well, you know, it doesn't make any difference. You can say, you can make therapist jokes all you want, but everybody's going to need one. Everybody's going to need one. You can be the most, think that you're doing everything right, you know, 
and then they find something to blame you for. <laughs> they always find something to get on, to pin you with. Um, this is really pretty, okay? This, and I, when I looked this up, I looked this up on Amazon, and it had everybody raved about this, the verified purchasers of their reviews on it. So what it is, is it is a heart-shaped acrylic vase comes with this part on the bottom which is the stand and this part is kind of hollow in the middle here and then this it, it but you can make it a stand base like this if you want to go on your table like this you can fill it with water you can fill it with fresh flowers you can fill it with false flowers on the front here you could fill it with candy hearts you could fill it with legos you could fill it with bottle caps you're from your uh favorite drinks or something you can fill it with wine corks whatever the heck you like to fill it with great big space on the top on which to be able to shove something in say you don't want to put it on your table like that it has a little notch out the back here that you can actually hang it on the wall as well so it's a nice size here okay it's a really pretty little item and the, people were all raving about it with the reviews on amazon when i looked it up they were like going crazy with it so it's a little heart acrylic vase here let's see there you go you see it Kind of hard to see now. And uh, this item here sells for, put that together the way it should be. It sells for $16.99. I have it for $10. Sells for $16.99, but I have it for $10. This one is going to be item number 947. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Dead horse, Kathy. Don't beat the dead horse, Kathy. It's going to be number 947. <laughs> I'm your therapist. I'm your therapist. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you that I give you a respite from the week because I I know I feel that same way. I feel like you get, you get together with people, even if we're not actually getting together and we just virtually get together here, we share these little inside jokes or these funny things that occur. I mean, it really does good for your disposition. I think so. I showed you this before and I didn't have any buyers, but maybe now you got a new friend and maybe your friend's name is going to be, I hope you have a new friend named Marilyn. Marilyn, do you have a friend named Marilyn? This is so pretty. Do you see it says Marilyn in the middle here? But this is really, really nice stained glass piece here on a delicate little chain. It's a little pool. You could, ha you could hang it in a window if you like with a suction cup. You could use it as a little ceiling pool. You could hang it on a little um, rear view mirror there. It's a nice, thick, well-made piece of stained glass here. But it says Marilyn on it. So if you have a friend named Marilyn and you would like to get that for her, maybe you just tag her and have her buy it for herself. It's going to be number 948. I'm going to take it to five bucks. Five bucks. And that is a steal for, it's a really nice quality piece. 948, five bucks. Marilyn. Okay, this is going over here in that pile. And then we have the red punky color hair dye. Did somebody get this from here? Or, so somebody got my other one. I can't remember who it was. Was it Valerie? Was it Heather? I can't remember. Maybe it was Camille. This is the red punky hair dye. This is the same color as the other one, I believe. Okay. Red punky hair dye, semi-permanent conditioning hair color. I already told you how to use it here. You don't you think it's too strong the way it is in the red color here? Then you just dilute it with some... Um, regular hair conditioner here. These sell for $9.99 on this one here. I have it for $7. This one is going to be item number $9.49. $9.49. And I'm going to end on $9.50 so that I can use my very last sticker here. Which one am I going to put out for $9.50 today? When I say end, I mean end the first part of the show, and then we're going to go to um, $3 items here. Let me put this one out. Here's a vintage item. Let me put this one out. This is a vintage Kentucky Derby glass. This is the 135th Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs, May 2nd, 2009. May 2nd, 2009. 
And here you have your list of all your winners and whatnot that are on here. Regular eight ounce drinking glass. It looks to be in very good condition. This one is gonna be $4, Kentucky Derby glass, 2009. It's gonna be number 950. And guess what? You got a little, um, that's supposed to be a star. <laughs> That's supposed to be a star if you buy number 950 for $4. And if you do, let me know that you are the winner winner there. I'm going to move this box out of the way. We're going to get ready to start our $3 sale. Oh, my magnifying glass. There we go. We're going to get ready to start our $3 sale. Okay, let me see. How do I want to do this? Well, I know I want to move this box out of the way. So I can have a little bit of room here. Okay. You have to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom now. Oh, my dog just jumped up there. Did you get to see him? Here, go right here. Say hello. Come here. Let's see. There he is. Here's Barrow. There's Barrow. He's a good boy. Okay, jump down, please. <laughs> nope. Still jump down, please. Still jump down. Thank you. So, where box am I going to put? Stay. Off. Off, 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 off. Okay, we're going to use this one here. Off. 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 Thank you, dear. Good job. We are going to use this one here to start with. Okay, you got about a minute left. Return from the ladies' room. You got about a minute left here. We are going to get ready to start our $3 sale. Three dollar, three dollar. We'll take a little drink here. You good? You're good. Yeah. Got it? I threw that one for Jay's. <laughs> Of course not. I threw that one for Sparrow. All right. We are going to switch up our numbers here. We are going to start. Let me see. Oh, so Wednesday. Wednesday when I was doing the show on Wednesday night, I had, um, I told you, I had to handwrite some numbers here. And sure enough, by the time the show was over, the sitting on the front porch, was the um, package with the new stickers in them. So now I got a whole bunch of new stickers. I get so excited about the most mundane thing. Joan is a winner, winner? Huh? What are you saying? Holla for three dollar. <laughs> Holla for three dollar. <laughs> I want to fill the heart with sand and my boyfriend got me from the beach. Aw, that's nice. That's nice. I'm sure I can speak from a... Oh, wait a minute. Are we talking to this Valerie? Oh, <laughs> that is so sweet, you guys. That's so wonderful. Okay, let's see. Winner, winner is Joan. Where's Joan's at? Okay, Joan, Joan. Joan, you are going to get a prize package here. You've got all kinds of fun things inside of your prize package here. It is going to come to your home. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Joan. It doesn't seem like my marker wants to write your name on here. Joan. I'm putting a big old fat J right there. Okay, hopefully I can see that. Hopefully I can see that. Joan, Joan. Thank you, Joan. Thank you, Joan. Okay, we're going to start here at number, oh, all the way back here at number one. Okay, number one. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's all going to be $3 every single thing. So just get ready to go. Ooh, jelly. What are you jelly about? <laughs> yeah, threw him a Girl Scout cookie. It's not a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> she thinks she's jealous of the Girl Scout cookies. Hannah, did you realize that when they're saying that, that they're talking about these Girl Scout cookies? These are Girl Scout cookies, but they are doggy Girl Scout cookies. They are little, little. Kathy probably wants me to eat this. Bacon flavor. <laughs> 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 
don't push me. I just might do it. Okay, everything I say is going to be $3. Number one, you have this set. These are almost like a toffee colored. They are both, they have both baby's breath in them. These are the spongy kind of roses here. Do you see that? You're getting a whole bunch of them. I think you're getting like 144 of them. I think there might be 12 dozens of them. This is going to be number one, $3. Number two is going to be this little vintage um, bunt pan here. It is a plastic bottom here. It is a metal bunt pan. You open it up like that and put your cake inside. That's what the inside of it looks like. That's what the tray looks like. Put it together like this. It's going to be number two. Number two, bunt pan. Little vintage item. Number three. Number three, you are getting two of these. These sell for $9.99 each. I think it said at Michael's or uh, what's the other one called? Um, you know, the crafty place. You're getting two of these here. These are really pretty. They are acrylic. Two sets of grapes here. You see they have the little beaded, beaded stems that are coming off the sides here. This is how big they are. Put them in my... Like a feed me a grape. That's how they look if I was getting. <laughs> You're getting both of them for three bucks. They sell for $9.99 each. You're getting both for three bucks. This right here is a little vintage Avon bottle. I don't know if it, I think it might have been a bath bubble bottle here. It is glass, it is green, stands about this high, has a little cork. Maybe it was perfume does have a scent to it. It's not overwhelmingly scented, but I, I can still see it has a remnant scent to it here. It has almost like a chandelierish sort of bottom here. You see how it has this pretty little curves. Nice little uh, green colored bottle here, vintage little bottle. It's going to be number four. Number four, three dollars. Number five, you are getting a set of two. Oh, see, this is the problem. The, on my other numbers, I told my son before the show started, I said, peel off this part. Do you see what I'm peeling off here? All the insides in between. Because how many times do I say to you, look at this stuff stuck on my fingers. So you kind of have to go through and peel all that off first. So that they don't get stuck on my fingers. Look at that, spider web full. Okay, still they're stuck all on my fingers. What a pain. Okay, so number five, where was I at? Oh, number five, you're getting two of these. These are new items here. These are, if you are a um, baker, a cake maker, these are the, um, the cake spreading spatulas here. They are plastic, they are big. You're get, it looks like there's two pieces in each of them here. Okay, I'm gonna see, read what it says on the bag here. I just put a sticker over what it says on the bag. It says on the bag, adjustable cakes, Scraper, two pieces. It doesn't really tell me what it is exactly. So I guess you have two, maybe you fit these two pieces together. You're getting one that's in pink, one that's in blue. If you like to make fancy cakes, you'll know exactly what this is. This is gonna be number five. You're getting both of them for $3. Number six, number six. This is kind of a cool little item here, I think, especially if you have a little goth chick in your life or uh, somebody that's interested in that sort of thing. It's gonna be number six. This is a set of 20 chime candles, okay? These are the, um, these candles here. It says it says on the front, they're spell candles, Ch chime or spell candles. They're just like this big. These ones are all black, all black. Chime spell candles, kind of, uh, I think that would be a teenager, would also really get a kick out of this too because, they feel like you're listening to them. <laughs> this is a Fortnite sticker, a massive Fortnite sticker here. It is for your child's wall, if they like that sort of thing. It's like a wall sticker, window sticker, that sort of thing. It's big. See how big it is? This one here is going to be $3. This is going to be number seven. Number seven. Okay, I think those sell for nine, eight or nine dollars too. Number eight, whoops, there goes number eight. <laughs> number eight, I have this set of two butterflies here. They are two pretty little butterflies. They're almost uh, like sequin-y. They almost look like a peacock there, don't they? These sell for eight dollars. 
They are now three dollars. It's going to be number eight. There you go. I think they have little clips on or something like that. It's going to be number eight. Three dollars, number eight. Number nine. This is Velcro. Okay, you're going to have a whole bunch of Velcro in here. It is the kind that is um, has sticky tape on both sides and then the hook and loop in the center here. I'm going to say these pieces are about four inches long each piece and there's probably got to be 20, 25 pieces inside of this bag full of uh, Velcro here. And this is going to be number nine. Number nine. Do you have anything that you need to Velcro together? I actually use Velcro on a lot of different things that I need to quickly hang up or, you know. This is going to be number 10. It's a sweet little kitty cat pusheen here. A little pusheen keychain. Okay. This one is in a little whip topping or a little ice cream pusheen here. A little kitty cat. It's a squishy. See how it squishes? They feel good in your hands. This is a good stress reliever here. This one's going to be number 10. This one is $3, number 10. Next here, these are, I know I've had many of these on here. This one is a bag of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are 10 of the uh, magic sponges. You know what I'm talking about that take marks off of the wall. These are so good for so many things. I use these in so many applications. You are getting a bag of 10 magic sponges for three bucks number 11 if you like that you say sold number 11. this right here is cute it is a little um it's kind of like a holiday item maybe just a winter item it's like a mini um cookie jar here so it looks like this mini little cookie jar with the little penguins on it little ceramic cookie jar like this see um, he's just about this big. He'd actually be pretty good for dog treats, too, if you happen to use do for that. It's going to be item number 12. It's going to be $3. Item number 12. I'm going to put that one a little bit lower because I don't want that one to get a boo-boo because it's ceramic and it could break. This is a little vintage item. This is a little vintage vase. I'm not really sure where it is from. I think it is a... Um, I don't know if it's Mexican or if it is uh, Southwest, maybe desert. Sweet little vintage porcelain here. It is an old one. It has like a little hole in the bottom here. I don't know why that is, if that's just how it was made at the time. Maybe it had a piece of felt on back in the day. No chips, no cracks, no crazing. Cute little picture here. Just cute for a little knickknack show for something in the kitchen. It's going to be item number 13. It is ceramic. Item number 13, three bucks. Whoops. Item number 14. You are getting one, two, three, four, five of these in the package. These are big fat red silk roses here. Big fat red silk rose heads here. They have both an alligator clip on the back. If you want to pin it onto your hat or your jacket or whatever you might want to do, maybe you want to pin it into your hair, you could do that. Ta -da. Or if you want, bleh, I'm going to get, probably going to get half my hair with it there. Or it also has an actual little pin on the back of it there too. Okay, so maybe a, you wear it on a lapel. I don't know what you want to do with it. You're getting five of them in the bag. You can see how nice and fat and big they are. That's going to be item number 14. Item number 14 is going to be three bucks. What are you saying to me there? Did Matt give you nine and 10, Mary? Let's check them out. Let's see. Um, Matt gave Mary number nine and 11. Wait, yeah, nine and 11. I don't see anybody getting number 10. I don't see a number 10. Did I give somebody, what was number 10? 11 was the uh, sponges, 13 was the vase, what's this one called, 10, 10 is the pusheen, I don't see anybody on there with the pusheen, okay, got it, he's slow tonight, I'm sorry about that, <laughs> if you say 10 again, if you still want number 10, I don't see anybody have, having have claimed number 10, number 15, this is another little Italian, um, 
this is a, a handmade tile here, okay? And it's just a little Italian greeting. You see a little angel carved in here at the bottom. You could hang this above a doorway, okay? On a doorway, whatever it might be. It has like a, it does seem to have like, it might have been hung on at one time with a little bit of glue or something. So it does have a little bit of roughness there where the glue is. But I think it's kind of cool because it's all handmade here, okay? This one's gonna be number 15. Number 15, and this is all raised here too. So you can even put clay on there, you know, if you wanted to. Number 15, a little Italian greeting. Number 16, this is a little tablet. This is like a little, um, what do they call this here? It's like a little prayer tablet. And each day, I suppose, you put these little, um, maybe these little goals that you might have on it here. Let's see what it says. Daily prayer sticky note notepad. Guide for time devotion. Okay, 855, 50 random tear-off sheets here. Um, white daily, I guess these are like little daily daily affirmation type things here. So it says praises, forgive me for prayers, help me to, and answer one of these questions below. And then the last thing is a little fill out. It says finish this short statement. God is, therefore I am. This is what you're getting here. This is going to be number 16. Number 16. Number 17. Number 17 are these old school books. These are from, I think these are from the 80s, aren't they? Nope, they're from the 70s, 1979. You're getting these two little books here. Last of the Mohicans and Around the World in 80 Days. Do you remember having those maybe when you were a kid? I don't know. You're getting two of them here. They have like the little pictures, easy read books here. Kind of cool little thing here. You're getting both of them for number 17, three bucks. Both of them, three bucks, number 17. What do we got here for number 18? Number 18, this is white contact paper, okay? And it's not just plain white contact paper. It actually has a little bit of a texture to it. Almost, I, I wanna say that it almost has a little bit of a like a linen texture to it, okay? But it is white. Oh, I didn't even know they had those cardboards in the center. Um, okay, so you're getting two rolls of this, whole bunch on the rolls. If you need them for drawer lining, if you need to cover up something, you know, maybe you're covering up something from outside. It's almost like a um, like a silky linen here. There's a piece where the, the plastic is rolled back. I don't know that you can really see the texture. Anyways, you're gonna get both of them. They're both, both of them for three bucks. That's gonna be number 18. You're getting both rolls for three bucks. This one here is, this is really cute here too. This is a little glass teacup here. Nice little squared off handle on it here too. And it has a little Coca Pelli. See the little etched Coca Pelli on the side here? Nice little glass teacup here with the Coca Pelli. It is gonna be number 19. Number 19 is gonna be $3. Number 20 is going to be this little tin. This is a little, um, it's almost the size of an index card. So if you wanted to use it for recipes or something, you could do that. It says on the back, gold metal flower. Okay. A little uh, old school tin here. It has a little steep roof on it there. It says gold, wash berries, gold metal flower. Does it close? It closes. It's going to be item number 20. That's going to be $3. Item number 21. These are the exact same things we had on the other night's show. But this one bag, actually, I can take one out to show you here. These are those little barbs here that I called kind of like cape, cable ties. You can put them through, make a loop, and then nobody can get them open. See? You can't get them open. So if you have to put a tag on a piece of jewelry, if you're trying to hold something together there, they're super tiny, super tiny, but you're getting a bag of like a thousand of them here. This is going to be item number 21. Item 21. <clears throat> item 22 is this um, book here, Marilyn Monroe, photographs from 1945 to 1962. Really nice little book here. If you are a Maryland fan or you know somebody that is a Maryland fan, where are the photographs? I'm probably putting it the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's see. So we have some, um, a lot of different photographs in here. 
over the years, picture after picture, and you get a little pictorial history here. This one is going to be number 22. It's going to be three bucks. Item 22 is going to be three dollars. What do we got here for 23? Ah, 23 is, I have, I think there's more of these in there too somewhere. This is a men's bow tie. It is a black silk bow tie. Okay, metal fixtures here at the end to hook it on together. But you could also use it as a little hair bow here. You could use it for your dog. Maybe you need a formal collar for your dog there to go to an event. You can think of all different uses, I'm sure. You could use it to jazz up a little outfit or something like that. It is a, it's a nice quality little uh, satin, sat, black satin bow tie. Okay, maybe you need it for a formal event. Who knows? This is going to be item number 23, bow tie. Item number 24. Okay, I've got two of these here. These are socks. These socks say, um, one goes on each foot. They say, you can't read it, I know it's backwards. It says, don't, do not disturb, I'm playing Fortnite. Do not disturb, I'm playing Fortnite. They're black socks. These are nice, stretchy black socks. I would say these are most appropriate. I mean, I could get my foot in there. Fine, um, and I wear an eight and a half, ladies, eight and a half. Um, but um, I would think that that my son, who's pretty much shares my size foot, would probably think that that he they're, they're smaller for him. So I would say maybe ages twelve and lower or ladies, <laughs> twelve and lower or ladies. Do not disturb. I'm playing Fortnite. This is going to be item number twenty four. They are nice socks though. They're nice. They're soft socks. And these ones are going to be item number 25. Do not disturb. I'm playing Fortnite. 24 and 25. We got another set of these. These are the uh, face shields, okay? So when you need to be able to have your face seen, your lips be able to be red and whatnot, this is a face shield here. You're getting two face shields in the package. It's number eight, or excuse me, it's number 26. Number 26, you get two of them in here, okay? Super light, they just go right around your head, right around your head like a, a hippie headband type of thing there. Next, we have an antenna. Do you have to get some reception somewhere? <laughs> you might have to get some reception. This is an antenna here. Let's see, does that have a magnet? I don't know if that's magnetic or if you have to put a sticker, okay? There you go. You have a little antenna. This is the little port here at the at the underside. Okay, so I'm not sure. Maybe put, plug that in your speaker. Maybe a car item. I'm not really sure what you do with this item. But it is an antenna. You're getting it for number 27 if you happen to have a need for that. It's going to be $3. Number 27. Okay. Then what do we got going on over here? Okay, so these here are for these are hoops these are metal frames and what these are used for is say you're going to make a dream catcher or say you are going to make a um you have a um crocheted doily or something like that these are metal frames for you to be able to hang them up do i have one that's open here this one's more or less open let's do this one here okay so it's a metal frame. There you go. It's about that size here. You have your the place to hang it right here. And uh, that's exactly what it is. It looks like it also comes with some jute and, uh, and a hook inside of the bag also. The hook is a clear hook that adheres to the wall and that, you know, you just put through here. So I have a couple of them in different styles here. Again, it's perfect style if you're making like a dream catcher or if you have a pretty crocheted uh, vintage um, doily or something like that that you want to make hang off of there. Maybe you have some, maybe you just tie things on there, make it into a regular wreath with uh, silks or whatnot. The, we have this round one here that's going to be number 28. It's going to be $3. We have this round one here that is going to be number 29. That's $3. And then... We'll skip that one. We have this one here that is a square. Okay, it's a square shape. It's going to be number 30. And I'll do one more square shape. And that one will be number 31. One more square shape. That's about that big, number 31. If you're a crafter. Oh, look. Well, 
Maybe you have one, we'll do one more. This one will be item number 32 because this one here looks to be a triangle, okay? Triangle shape. And it's actually almost the size of an actual triangle, like if you were to play the triangle. Ding, ding, ding. There you go, triangle shape. That one's gonna be number 32, okay? We good? Now we have here a pet splash free water bowl. Let's see what this is here. This is a bigger bowl. Oh yeah, it is a bigger bowl. This is a bigger bowl for a bigger dog, okay? I think you put this part down. I think you put this part in. And then the water just, this floats on the water, so it only allows a certain amount of water to come to the top so your big dog can't come in and start creating waves inside of the water. That's how this works. It is a pet splash-free water bowl. And this one here, I'm going to say it's about an eight inch bowl or so. So it's a, and it's probably about two or three inches. It's about two inches, at least two and a half inches deep. This one here is going to be number 33. Number 33. Three bucks. Number 33 is three bucks. This right here, these are really cute here too. Hold on, where's the other one? There they are. These are called key socks. Okay, I these are for when you want to wear socks, but your foot, the shoe that you're wearing shows an open foot. Okay, so this is what the sock is. You see how it goes around your toe? It goes around your heel, and it almost comes up like a stirrup pant. If you remember stirrup pants, I don't know. So that you can wear a shoe that's open in the front like this, but still keep your foot soft from the sock around it here. Okay? So they're called key socks. These key socks here are plus size. One pair. They are black. It's going to be number 34. Then I have this pair here which is going to be plus size, one pair, and these are um, like a camel color, okay? Like a camel color here. This one's going to be number 35, number 35. That's a clever little idea for a sock there, huh? Kathy's going to say, you don't get out much, do you? <laughs> Look at her being impressed by key socks. Yeah, so what? I am. <laughs> what do I got here? Oh. <laughs> oh. I should just wait and wear this for the next show. Instead of opening up wearing the hat, look at this. You are going to get this. Ah, it's your tail. It's your little tail. And you are going to get this, which is your little foxy headband. So you get a foxy headband and a foxy tail. Maybe you'll be a fox for Halloween. Maybe you'll just prance around your house as a fox. I don't judge. It's going to be number 36, number 36, okay? It's going to be $3 for the set, number 36. Then we have, I have two different sets of these. This is going to be set number, where's my sticks? Where's my sticks? Wait a minute, where'd they go? There they are. This one is gonna be 37 and the next will be 38. This 37, these are the, um, they call these diatomite absorbent mats. So it's basically coasters, but what they are is it's a, it's a porous stone coaster, okay? So it sucks in the water so that you're not leaving water on these coasters here. So it says you can use it in, in multiple applications here on the back. Anyways, you're getting this one here, which says welcome on the front here. And you're getting this one here that says thanks on the front here, these little lilies. But they kind of go together a little bit, you know, with their coloring here. You're getting both of these ones here are going to be number 37 for three bucks. And then you're going to get these ones, both of these ones here for three bucks, which is going to be number 38. This one is a larger mat here. So you could use them for spoons. You could use them for anything that's like wetness. Okay. It absorbs the wetness. You're getting both of these and they are stone. So you're getting these two here. Number 38, number 38, three bucks. Then what I got over here. Okay. Number 39. I have a green colored silicone bag, cooking, freezing, whatever you want to do in it. Green colored silicone bag, third number 39. Where am I going to put this stuff? Green, number 40, I have 
a clear colored, kind of clear and kind of foggy colored um, silicone bag. This one might be a little bit larger actually. Slightly larger it looks like. This one's going to be number 40. Okay. It says right on there what the size is, but I don't can't read anything. Oh, what does it say? Cups. I don't know how many cups it says. Six. It says six cups on here. This one here is going to be number 41. Now, this is a nice little thing here. Um, if you are a camper or a hiker or something like that, you can clip this right onto your backpack here. And it's just this little pouch that when you open this little pouch, inside of it, it houses a, it's a little bag. It's a little, um, like, it looks like kind of like a grocery bag, you know, like a plastic bag like that. But the fabric that it's made out of is nice to keep wet items in. So if you, are like, are camping and you're out and your shoes get wet or uh, maybe you're swimming and you have wet clothes, you can put them right inside of here and it stays in here. It's not, and plus it doesn't get all, you know, not, it's not like a plastic bag. It's nicer than that. So um, it's a little bag set here. It's a nice little item for, for a camper or a hiker. It's number 41, item number 41. Item number 42, what are you saying? Uh, if my camel needs socks, <laughs> it only covers the toes. <laughs> you should have put a wink after that one. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're making me think <laughs> dirty jokes. <laughs> Item number 42. This is a book here that is called um, My Father's Guitar and Other Imaginary Things by Joseph Skibel, author of A Blessing on the Moon. The voice is so beguiling, the tone so sweet and hilarious, you quickly realize you're in the hands of a master, says James Magnuson from author, no, whatever, from whatever other book. So anyways, it looks like it, it's a uh, little, com it kind of looks comical in a sense. It's called My Father's Guitar and Other Imaginary Things. This one's going to be number 42. 42. Number 43 is going to be this 18 inches by 5 feet in the color coffee brown. This is the um, rubbery stuff that you would put A, you could put it underneath your carpet if you have a slippery carpet and you don't want it to move. It's like an anti-skid. But this is also sometimes the thing that they make to like open up jars and, and whatnot because it has a heavy grip to it. So this one here is coffee colored. It's 18 inches by five feet. Think Grip Liner, number 43. You can also use it to actually line the inside of your drawers, like your kitchen silverware drawer, your junk drawer, or your, um, you know, utensil drawer, that sort of thing. This right here is a set of bells. I'm not sure really what the main purpose of this is here. I don't think this is just, just where I put it. So it's on this large, um, kind of a lightweight canvas strap, almost like a uh, dog leash strap here. You're getting three big jingle bells at the bottom, two little, same, they're all the same size, and then two at the top. And it looks like they snap here, so you can choose where to snap it. Maybe you, I don't know what you're going to do with this thing. It kind of reminds me of the type of thing that people will hang on their front door, you know, um, you know usually with a red bow or something like that. Maybe you put some holly or something around it for the holidays. You tell me what you would do with it. I don't know what you do with it. Rose, you're back. Oh my gosh, you're missing it. You use it on the table on your dad's boat. You use what on the table? This stuff? That's a great idea to use on the boat because that's that's exactly the type of thing when you don't when you're going around a quick turn, you don't want things to all fall all over the place. It's a good gripper. Rose, you're back late. We already started our great three dollar items here. You got to get yourself in here. So these bells right here, real huge jingle bells. I'm going to say the jingle bells are nearly the size of a golf ball here. Um, these are going to be item number 44. Item 44. Item 44. And then, then what do we have here? Then this, oh look, this is, okay, so this kind of looks like the Pusheen. This is for your earbuds here, but it's not the Pusheen, but it's kind of like it in a little way because look what it is. It's. Okay, so it's for your, your earbuds here. So it is a little baby coffee cup here, or bubble tea, let's say. Probably bubble tea is what it is. Okay, it's your straw sticking out. Then you open up that part, 
And then what do we got going on in here? Well, you got the other little part right here. So that's your little earbud earbuds container right here. Very, very cute little thing here. Um, this one here is going to be $3. And this one here, what number are we going to give this one? Oh, we're going to give this one $45. It's going to be $45. What are you saying there? Um, hand from your wreath. Hang from your wreath. Yeah, that's a, that's what I was kind of thinking too, uh, that it would be something. I've seen them on the front, people's front doors and whatnot, but that's a good idea, yeah. This, okay, if I had the opportunity to show you this, and I'm probably going to post this. I'll probably post a picture of this on Facebook here. But this fits Sparrow perfectly, but he has his own. This is a different one. This is a little furry head, okay, so that you look like this little lion head if you are a little, well, I guess you could use it for a baby doll if you wanted to, too. But it fits little Sparrow's head perfectly here. So you can make your little pup into like a little lion here, a little lion head here. It's really cute, really cute little warm, warm little hat costume. He looks really cute in it. I'm going to have to show you what he looks like. We, I put it on him a little while ago. Not this one. We have a different one. I don't even know where it is right now because I see he was going to take off with it because he was like, don't put this on me. I'm like, no, you're, we're putting this on you. You look too cute in it. It's going to be number 46, item number 46. So I'm going to say um, me medium dogish size, medium dog size, or baby doll, or baby doll would work too. This one here is going to be number 47, this consigned item. Um, I don't know about the age to it here, but... Um, it is a little porcelain angel here, okay? You put a little tea light in the back here, and it shines through her dress like that here. A little white porcelain. She has her hands clasped behind her back there in the back. This one here is going to be number 47. $3. She's bought this big. 47 What do I got here? These are, okay, so, okay. So we had the, the socks, the keyhole socks, okay? But now this is something a little different, too. So many fun foot things I get on here. It's kind of strange. But these are socks for just your toes only, okay? There you go. These are your little toe socks. But they, these are, they're, you, so you get two pairs of them in here. But behind, so that they stay on your toes and they don't fall, they have, um... The painted, like the, the rubbery, gluey stuff painted on the back so that it stays stuck on the ball of your foot, and like a bra might have, okay? You know how it has the rubbery parts on it, so it's supposed to stay into place? That's what these have, so it's kind of a funny little thing here. I haven't seen these ones before. You're getting two pair in the package. It says relief of pain, etc., etc. But I'm kind of thinking that it, it would also just be good in the winter if you just wanted to look like you had clear toes, but you actually have socks on. <laughs> it's going to be number 48. 48. Go lie down. We're not quite ready for you there, mister. Number 49. What is this one here? Okay, so 49. I have another set of the, sh the face shields here. These are the, the large face shields. Headband style goes across here. You're getting two in the package. This one is going to be number 49. And then this is, oh, this is number 50 here. This is a set of wings. These are little um, uh, white wings, like an angel wing type of thing here. So it's like a, they're like a heavy cardboard wing, but they're covered in these white feathers like this all the way around. And it has a, I guess you tie them on, looks like it has a elastic that you put under your arms like that to tie it on here. So this is how big they are if they were on me, okay? These ones here are going to be number 50, number 50, okay? Put you over here. Let me see. Get in there. Okay. Let's see. Fifty-one. We're on fifty-one, people. Yes, we are. What is this going to be? Fifty-one. This is going to be fifty-one here. This is a U.S. Navy. Uh, it's a small flag. It's a garden flag. U.S. Navy mom. If you know somebody that is a U.S. Navy mom. It's a little garden flag here. Images on both sides. 
This one is going to be item number 51. Put you back in your bag here. Oh, this is a cutie pie here. This one here is going to be item 52. This is, it's shaped like a croissant, but it is for, this make a nice gift here too. This is for, um, you put the, heat the bread warmer in a moderate oven for 20 minutes, then you line the bread basket with a napkin, put the bread warmer on the napkin and arrange the hot rolls or croissants on top of the warmer. And then, so you're keeping your, your fresh bread warm on the, on the dinner table here. So that's a cute little thing. Oh, it's very cute. Look, it even has a little thing on the back of it there too and everything. That'd be a cute little ornament, little gift there too for somebody, wouldn't it? Anyways, it's about that big here. This one's going to be item number 52. Item number 52. Item number 53. So this actually sells for $10.97. But, um... It's going to be three bucks tonight. What it is, is it is, it's just decorative white stones. So you're getting this whole sack of these little white um, crystally stones here. So maybe you're doing a, um, uh, I don't know, maybe you're doing a plant scape or something like that. Maybe you are doing succulents and you want little decorative white stones to go around. They're like little chips of stones, you know. Um, it, again, it sells for $10.97. I have it for $3. It's going to be number 53. Number 53. And then number 54. I think these would be so pretty. I've showed you these ones before, but I think these would be so pretty. Um, just on hanging down on pretty um, a piece of ribbon in your window, in a highly reflective window. You're getting three pieces here. They are beveled glass pieces. These are ambered color and they are etched. You see they have like a, fla a floral, can you see the etching on it there? I don't know if you can actually see. There you go. You can kind of see the etching on it there. So they are, and they're big. Look how big they are. But look how pretty, look even with what you're seeing behind me here. I think that would look really pretty seeing that through on a window like that. Anyways, you're getting three pieces of them here. They are glass. They are nice. They're really nice. It's going to be number 54. That's item number 54. Then I have over here number 55. What is number 55? 55. Everybody should own this. If you don't own this already, what's wrong with you? You need to own this. This is two rolls of that stitch witchery for the hem. Okay? So when you have a hem that falls out of something, this is the quickest way to put it up. Just sit there, pull out a little piece of this tape and iron it together. It's a fusing tape. It fuses two pieces of fabric together. Two nice size rolls there. Look, they could be my eyeballs. <laughs> That's going to be number 55. Item number 55. So useful. There are things that I've made. I've made Halloween costumes purely by ironing them together with stitch witchery and sewing very little. Item number 55. Um... Okay, item number 56. Where's my stickers? Is it going to be 56? It is. Item number 56 is you're getting these two, uh, I think they're yards of fabric. I'm not sure what they are. No, one is a half yard here, and I don't know. I think this one is a yard. So we have the red and we have the pink, and they are both a shiny chiffon. This one actually has a little bit of glitter in it. That would be really pretty around the holidays, do something. Does this one have glitter on it too, or did they get glitter on it from being with the red? I'm not sure. But that would be really pretty. Make something pretty for the holidays with it. Make it into a pretty candy-looking wreath. Doesn't that look like candy put together like that? It's going to be number 56. It's going to be $3 for it all. Then we go over here. This one here is going to be number 57. This is called a unicorn uh, what is it called? <laughs> it is called a sup case. Unicorn beetle drop protection. Okay. So this is a, um, this is a, um, case for a tablet here. Okay. Unicorn beetle sup case. It says 360 protections, shock resistant, built-in screen protector, Dust proof, multi-layer design, drop protection. Does it tell me anything 
more particular about it, like the actual size on it here. It says separating front casing from rear casing. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like it's about a 10 inch size. I don't know. This is what it looks like on the back. If this helps you. Your viewer for your tablet, your camera would be here. Okay. Or in this case, it would be here on this side. Got it. And I'm on my tablet like that. So if that reminds you of something that you have, maybe you could use that. I'm not sure. That's going to be number 57. Item number 57. Item number 58 are these cute little socks here. These little, hol well, not necessarily holiday socks. These socks are the, um, these are the, shh, I'm watching The Walking Dead. Here's your Halloween socks. I'm watching The Walking Dead. And this is written in a grippy, painty stuff, you know, so it's like a non-skid surface stuff here. Real cute little white socks. These are more like footy socks like that, if you can see those up close like that. And they have, they're actually nice. Look, they even have a center binding here. In this, I don't think you can see that part, but they have a tightness right in the center there, like a nice little sock has. So these ones here, the Walking Dead ones, are going to be number 58. Watching the Walking Dead, number 58. Number 59... Number 59 is going to be this old lady. This old lady with her handbag. She again is wearing a babushka, which I realized when I was looking over this that nobody commented on the babushka the other day. See her babushka? So it's this little old lady. She's just made out of wood. It's, it's unfinished, unstained wood. Oh, look, it says something on the side. It says, hmm, I don't know what that says. The Dahlia, the Dahlia. The Dahlia, I can't read it necessarily, it's, it's kind of in script here, if you can see that. But she stands about this tall here, which is probably about seven, eight inches. That's what she looks like. Somebody carved this little old lady out here. And she's going to be number 59. If you like her, she's number 59. You could stain her, you could paint her, you could leave her as she is. You could, you know what would be cool with her? You have a nice little plant outside and you just tuck her in the plant. You know, just put her in the plant like that. So she's just kind of being the guardian of the plant there. Maybe it's your tomato plants. This one is going to be number 60. Number 60, we got a catnip whale. we got a catnip whale. He has one pouch in his belly, and he has an extra pouch of catnip right here on the side. He's a silicone whale. It's good for your, get their teeth clean. That one's number 60. Then we have one here that is going to be number 61. Exact same thing, same color, blue, 61. Then over here, we have this little basket that I hope somebody buys because it's such a great deal. 62 is this sweet little silverware basket for when you're carrying it out to the table. Say you're having a buffet. It's a nice little straw basket. Straw handles on it. These are all, you can remove these and wash these if you care to here, these little fabric inserts. For your knives, forks, spoons, whatever you happen to have here. This one is number 62. Nice little basket, three bucks. Then we have just a couple more over here. We have this one here, which is number 63. This is one of those magic mugs. It's, it's called Ing West Home and Kitchen. It's a, kind of like a magic mug, but it is a huge dinosaur here. But when you um, put your hot liquid inside of it, it reveals the other hidden part of the picture here. And I can't disclose that to you because honestly, I can't remember what the hidden part of the picture is there. So it's going to be a mystery mug for you there. Little black uh, ceramic mug here. It's a new item. It's going to be number 63. Item number 63. And we just have a couple more to show you here. This one here. So interestingly enough, this is actually goes on a, um, a casket. Isn't that kind of weird? The other night, Wednesday night, I showed you something for a funeral as well, too. Maybe, maybe a funeral is in my future here. Or <laughs> I don't know. It goes on a casket. But you could use it to go on many other things here. And it's actually quite, very expensive because it is purchased uh it's from a brand called life symbols and this one is called rose okay so it's just a highly carved um piece of uh, probably resin here 
and then it has a couple little screws here on the back but if you don't like those screws you can put the take them out and cover them with felt instead if you just like it like if you'd like like a piano decoration or something like that you could use that here so it's going to be number 64. this one's going to be number 64. 64 for the rose and i just have a couple more in the, in my little bag of tricks over here this one here is going to be item number 65. It's a two-piece set. It's an old vintage set from Home Interiors. I've showed you this long time ago. This one is the lotion and the hair tonic. They're a little wall. You hang them up on your wall here. And you can hang your, um, you know, dish, your towels or something on them, you know, whatever. This one says lotion. This one says hair tonic. But you could also really modernize these. You could just paint them up. You could put your favorite brands across the top of, on them with labels there. Or you could do it however, you know, whatever you like there. You're getting both pieces here for $3. It's number 65. If, if you remember what Home Interiors is, that's an old school... Um, you know, home party thing that they used to have here. This little item here, I don't know a lot about it because I don't do watercolors, but it is a pink, pink tin tray. It actually has a little um, hook on it here so that you can hold your finger on it here like this. And you open up this little tin tray and you open it up like that. And this is what it looks like on the inside of it here. Okay. But it also comes with this whole package here of these little dishes that pop into the metal pieces here, okay? So it is like a professional watercolor um, tray here. It's called Medine Watercolor, and that's what it is. So I don't know if you watercolor or you know somebody that does watercolor here, but this item here is going to be number 66 item 66 and it's just going to be three bucks it's going to be item number 66 I'm running out of places to put things luckily i only have a couple more to show you here this is a vintage one from 1999 okay or no excuse me 1991 1991 it is a bisque piece here okay and it is a sandpiper and it's sitting on the uh, dock here, the logs over here at the beach, you see some uh, seagulls out in the distance. It has a sand texture to it, too. You see how it is? It's a nice little piece here. It's a nice little piece for the wall here, especially if you have a beach theme home or something along those lines. It's going to be number 67. It's from 1991. It has a little weight to it here, too. I don't know if I want to say it's an entire pound. But it's probably a good 14 ounces or so. It's going to be three bucks here. Three bucks, people. Nice piece there. And our last few pieces. Let me see. Let's make these our last two pieces for tonight. Okay, so this piece here. Do I sell my magnifying glass? This is for your feet also. These are called meta, uh, meta, metatarsal. Metatarsal pads for women and men. You're getting four pairs in here. This is what they look like here. Okay, so you get these little pads for your, um, oh, these look like you slip your toe in them. I'm not sure. And then this one fits into your shoe, I suppose, here. Kind of looks like an avocado almost here. These are um, jelly Okay, I think they have stickers on the back of them that you pull off to make them stick. How many did I say were in this package? Did I say four? I said, yes, four pairs. Four pairs of these here. And then these are going to be three bucks. This is going to be number 68. 68, let's just call it foot comfort. You need a little bit of comfort on your foot? Number 68. This really does feel very comfortable. It's comfortable just to hold in your hand and squeeze about, you know. Okay, your Facebook is being crazy tonight. Why is it being crazy? What are you trading for the butterflies? Listen to you guys. <laughs> Did anyone get the old lady? <laughs> I'm missing a lot of your comments here. Uh-oh. No. Come here. What else are you saying here? I don't know if any... Oh, Amy got the old lady? Okay, so she's offering to trade. <laughs> you guys are talking to... <laughs> It's mine, bird, seagull. <laughs> oh, you want to help me do the last one? I know. You want your mama back. You want your mama back. 
I know, I know. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Last one. Off, off. I'll give you both. Here. Off. There you go. Last one. Close this door. Might as well take my drink now. Mmm. <laughs> okay, last one. Where was the last one? Last one. This is an interesting little item. So this is for children. This is for children. It says ages 3 to 10, which is a size um, U.S. up to a size, I think it says up to five, a, sizes 5 to 12. Children sizes 5 to 12. These are silicone. You put them on over your shoe to make your shoe, like almost like a, I don't want to say necessarily a snowshoe, but a, a snowshoe, something that would grip in the snow or in, in very slick conditions. You just strap it right on over your little child's shoe here, okay? And it looks like they have like little doggy paws on the bottom, but they are for children. And they are children, it says ages 5 to 10 or age sizes, or excuse me, ages 3 to 10, sizes 5 to 12. Children's, so they stretch that much. Can put them on over the shoe to keep the child from falling or making tracks. Maybe it's a muddy situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a snowy situation. It could be a muddy situation. Maybe you're camping and you need a little more grip, you know, rock climbing with a kid or something like that. This one's going to be number 69. Guess what? That's the last thing I have to show you tonight. Number 69, last thing. 9.15. We did two hours, 15 minutes. What do you think of that? We got this cook going on. We can message her after the show. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right when I want to eat my dinner and sit down. Why don't you all come and message me? <laughs> Amy got kicked off. She, why'd she get kicked off? Who kicked her off? Stop. I already gave you a treat. Go lie down. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, good night, Amy. We'll see you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Thank you so much. What is she saying now? Mary, yes, but if you want it, that's okay. Oh, okay. If you're working out deals between yourselves, you work it out between yourselves. You figure that stuff out. Then just let me know if I have to mail it somewhere different, okay? No, I'm not being the hostage negotiator. <laughs> my boy wants to say goodbye to you. He's driving me crazy, and he's scratching my leg. He's driving me crazy. Settle. There you go. Now be a good boy. Say bye, everybody. See you next time. See you Monday at 11 a.m., okay? And have a great weekend. And tomorrow we're going to post those purple baby pictures. So if you have purple babies already, get your pictures that you have. You don't have to have all your pictures together. We'll make like a mega thread, and I'll keep it up there so we can keep going back to it and posting on it. Um, and if you don't have purple babies yet, Pam, I'll make sure that I put them in your package. And if anybody else needs purple babies, let me know, okay? Bye. See you. Have a great night. Okay, get down. Mwah. But it's not fair.